Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Space Run. So pretty much think like if uh, UPS and Space Crew had a baby and that's his game. Essentially your goal is to deliver various resources and shipments throughout space and fight off pirates while doing so because every now and then someone's gonna try to steal your cargo so you gotta mount up your ship with a shit ton of guns and what have you. So I thought it'd be something different to play. I know it's an old game. I, last time I actually loaded this was back in 2016 so if that gives you any idea how old this game is. So, let's get right into it. The year is 2525. I don't think I'll ever live that long. Space is no longer the final frontier. Mankind has spread out to the farthest reaches of the known galaxy. Those far reaches are dangerous, filled with space pirates, deadly asteroids, and random anomalies. That doesn't mean the people living out there still don't want stuff. That's where I come in. I am Captain Buckman. I pride myself on being the best fracking pilot in the galaxy, if not the universe. Back in the day, I flew for Earth Force. After that, I won the space racing tour three years in a row. Thing is, past accomplishments don't pay today's bills. In order to make some quick cash, I've adapted to the times by becoming a space runner. These days, I deliver packages to the far corners of space. My motto, when you need it there yesterday. Great news, Captain Buck, sir. I have picked up a transmission from Outpost Omega 36D. BC, the biggest transport company in the known sectors, is looking to hire space runners. What does that have to do with me? I'm an independent, a lone wolf, a, a maverick. All right, there's Salt Snake. Well, not to cloud the issue with facts, but a glance at your accounts shows you have exactly zero credits. And I admit, business has been slow. Maybe I need to snap your motto. Or a new website. And due to a string of, let's call them, bad breaks, you do owe the mob far Oh, more lovely. So we owe money credits. to the mob, and we have no money. I believe the Android rugby team didn't cover the spread. Okay, I guess I can listen to the offer from BC. I've contacted BC. Their CEO, Susanna Siren, will give you their terms when you reach the outpost. Oh, uh, oh, okay. Before our arrival, I want to make sure you understand a few. Uh, okay, so this is all tutorial bullshit, so we're gonna get through this quick. You can see our ship in the center. Mr. Buck, Captain Sir, I have Susanna Siren, the CEO. Alrighty CFO, then, we made it. An all around head honcho of big cargo on the line. Let's not keep the lady waiting. Mr. Man, thank you for taking my call. Call me Buck. Of course, Buck. I hear you're a bit of a wild card, hard to control, and a general pain in the behind. Oh, that's one way of putting it. <laughs> Don't believe everything you hear. I also hear you're the best pilot around. <laughs> okay, believe some of what you hear. We here at BC pride ourselves on fast, safe delivery. Yeah, I can do that. With emphasis on the fast part. We don't usually hire freelancers, but our demand is very high now. I don't usually work for other people, and my need is very high now. So we're even. Good. So we're on the same page. Yeah, it's not exactly rocket science. You give me crates filled with stuff, then I take them where you want them to go. ASAP. Very good. If the first delivery meets my expectations, there will be more work for you. Good luck, Mr. Man. Wow, Susanna's hot. How do you know? I did not see you take her temperature. Androids. Yeah, that sounds like a typical delivery man. All right, let's go for it. Uh, all right, so there we go. All right. Sir, we are ready to all right, cargo. so yada yada yada. I know how cargo works. Right, listen, I may have been partially stupid. Okay, partially. And I, I can't do that. So what I'm thinking about doing is... Hmm. If I only go one thruster... Because the thing is, if these fuckers come from behind me, I want to make sure... Actually, what if I do... One, th like, two thrusters, one, one gun face to back. Alright. Two to the side and then one in the front. Would that work? Maybe. We are ready to rocket at... Ah, yeah, 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 let's go. You. 
Captain. Oh, we got. There's already pirates coming after me. My luck. I'm sure something will pop up soon. Right away. Yep. Small. Yeah, it's just meteors. All right. So the way you're supposed to gather resources, right? You can either wait for this to clock up, or actually, can I order my ship to move? I can't order my ship to move. That's not a thing. But um, essentially, the longer this takes, the less I earn, right? So those are, I think, yeah, these are different delivery types, I guess. If I could beat them, then we're golden. But uh, let's see. I want to make sure we're prepared. Right away. I'm gonna invest right now in guns just in Ready case. For action. Can I just okay? Doesn't work like that, but whatever. So these can hurt me and fuck me up. So up, oh, I'm glad that I. Uh... Can I just have these guys show up now. No, 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 no. What am I doing? Okay. All right. We're kind of staying at a steady pace, but I want to pick up the speed. That's like putting a square peg in a triangular. Ah, shut up. Goddamn robots. All right. Thruster ready to burn. So hopefully this helps us. Uh... All right, so we're beating one of them right now. No, I don't want. God damn it! I don't want details. Fuck. All right, those guys are fucked. We just need these little gears. Uh, oh, we're so close to another. Actually, no, I can do another gun right now. You got it. Okay, these guys aren't that difficult right now, but that's Ready just because the game's being merciful. Uh, let's see if we. So far, we're actually catching up to that other one too. But Consider it that's done. express light speed. So so far, we're actually beating light speed delivery. So we're going much Buster, faster than the other guys. I was going to put two uh, turrets on the back, but I don't think it's necessary. As long as this, these two turrets can clear the way, we should be relatively fine. What is this, a drone? I think it's some kind of drone. I don't fucking know. I just want to blow shit up. Make my deliveries. Space Death Stranding. No, I don't want to do that. I want to repair. So far, I'm at four stars, which is very good. Uh, all right. I have very high hopes that we're going to win this. Very high hopes. I mean, we're winning. We're, we're beating them so far. Actually, does it tell me... It tells me their thrust, but it doesn't tell me... Exactly... Uh, oh, yeah, those meteors are kind of... Flanking into us. Alright, let's repair it quick. We made it! All in one piece! Job well and unlike done. UPS, we didn't kick anyone's packages. Or throw it. Or step on it. Or crush it. Like UPS usually does. Alright, let's keep going. Well done, sir. You will be happy to know Big Cargo has paid you for the delivery. Did Susanna tip? Let's not push it, Captain Buck. I suggest you reinvest some of this newfound wealth into ship improvements. Sure. I'm a firm believer that change is good, especially when it helps keep me breathing. Excellent. After each successful space run, you should visit the engineering oh, God. section. I'm giddy with Andrew. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, I want to engineer. Okay. Uh... After... Oh, I can... Okay, that's nifty. Yeah, let's go for that. That's actually a good thing. So this allows me to kind of change where my gun is facing, regardless if I've already planted it or not. So that's actually good. Um, uh, mm, do I want a force field right now? 500, let's, yeah, let's go for that. And let's see, can I afford anything else? Um, hmm. Does this increase thrust? Thrust power, earn, but earn 50. Okay. Okay, so if I turn it off, then I earn more. All right, that's interesting. That's something good to know. Um, I guess we're good. Let's go for the next delivery. Alrighty then. It's just one. Oh, three. Okay. All right, simple enough. Dunzo. Okay, cool. Throw that there. This is actually much easier. This one. Uh, so I could put three. Uh, model on me. 
three fucking thrusters here, two turrets there just in case, and I can put three here. Actually, maybe even four, fuck. Yeah, let's go for it. Consider it done. Shit balls. Fuck, I consider it done. This may be as uh, reorient. Uh, how do I make you? There we go. Okay. Thank God. I nearly shit myself. <laughs> I was like, oh no. I fucked up. Um. Just in case. Your wish is let's my throw command. defenses down that way. This may be as Nothing else. I'm. If I had a shield generator, I'd throw it there. Right, for now, I'm gonna want to invest in um, thrusters. That'd be that'd be a smart option. So let's get that there. Consider it done. So I guess for the sake of content, thruster ready to. have we all been doing today so far? Um. I myself, nothing usual. Well, nothing unusual. Um, work has been fun. You know, getting yelled at by regulars for, you know, then for not kissing their ass, basically. That that was always fun. Um, I had a guy come into my store, and you know what? I, I, I can sympathize with his issue. But the problem with him was, and guys, if you are a regular at any store, right, regardless of what it may be, if you're a regular of any kind of store that you shop at, and you know the employees by name, don't make demands of them. If they can't do something, or they're doing Your something that doesn't necessarily command. go with what you want, don't get mad at them. Your wish is my command. What I would tell you to do is, instead of making demands or putting it out that it's someone else's fault, what I would tell you to do is simply ask questions. That's it. If you ask, hey, why is things like this? Why why am I to do this, right? No no any employee that gets mad at you for just simply politely asking questions to for you know to further their understanding of what's going on in, during the transaction, they're a shitty employee. Can't do oh. that. I hope you fly better than let's you feel. cycle then, you know what? Let's Your wish is my command. Right away. Hold on. This may be as so, ready I had this guy come into my store, right? And he was a regular customer. Thruster, ready to go. I don't know if anyone would agree with me or disagree with me, but honestly, considering what I do for a living, I kind of put my regular customers at a higher regard, like a higher regard of respect. Like, I will do better for a regular than I would some random new person, you know what I mean? But, but I still, you know... I still expect a level of respect, you know, reciprocate. I expect them to be as respectful to me as I am to them. And I think that's honestly fair. So, this guy who's a regular of ours, he comes in, and his kid has a PlayStation 4. It's completely dead. It's a PS4 Pro. Completely dead. I don't know what they did to it, and honestly, I'm certain that the kid dropped it, or maybe he did something stupid, but... Long story short, this com this system is complex. He has a protection on it, and he points out that well, because of the fact that our store was unable to get systems, we you know he had to go ahead and buy the system off Sony or off PlayStation.com. They he, he wasn't able to get it through us, so he had to pay another four hundred dollars for replacing the system. And I get it; it's a four hundred dollar system. I sympathize. You know, it, it really sucks to have to sell the system and get so little back for a four hundred dollar system, but tech depreciates, especially the fact if you break the damn thing and it was dead. I offered initially, I think we were offering $170 and he was going to get 120 because it was dead. It was broken. It was a $50. Holy fuck. They are just laying into me right now. Holy shit. And get fucked. Anyway. It was going to get 120 for the system. I get it. It's shitty. You get 120 for a system that's 400 dollars. But again, tech depreciates, and the system was broken. I couldn't even resell it if I wanted to. So he goes from 
I don't understand. Yippee. Oh. Did I just say yippee? I guess he said yippee. So it went from, I don't understand why is it so little, to, well, I don't understand how this is my problem. It's all your fault. You know, it was very rude the way he went. Oh, let me let Sir, these guys talk. I have an incoming communication from Nuclear Star. Put him through. This guy looks Man, like Skullface from Metal Gear. Your recent exploits have come to... Oh, who can forget your motto? We... Yada, yada, yada. I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can do any upgrades. But anyway, yeah, so... Like I said, I expect a level of respect from my regulars, considering the fact that they, you know, are my fucking regulars. They come in off enough, you know me by name. I expect you to at least treat me like a human being, you know? Like... I expect you to just talk to me like a person, you know, talk to me man to man, but clearly that's not who this person was, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I can't afford that, let's, fuck it, let's go for that. Um, anyways, the guy comes in my store, and I, the whole, yeah, I go through a whole transaction, I'm setting it up, and I'm just trying to understand what happened with the system, maybe broke it so that way I can help them understand later on what not to do. So... What ends up happening is that as I'm talking to him, I tell him, like, alright, so you're getting 120. Why is it that? Well, because your system is dead, and I can't resell it, but I have a protection on it. Now, again, I get it. He paid an additional 50 bucks for a protection plan. Technically, we should swap it out, but we don't have any systems. We haven't had systems in months. So, I, I can't swap it out for me. It's not, the protection doesn't allow you to just to return it, it's to exchange it. So, what ends up happening is, he goes from, but I don't understand how it's my problem, like, why is it my fault that your, that, you know, my system's broken and I have, you know, I, basically he was, like, he didn't understand why he had to pay $120, I'm sorry, he had to pay $50 and only get $120 for his system when he has a protection. And I try to explain to him, protection only, you know... Is allowed, you know, it only allows you to swap the system. That's it. That's all it does. He didn't like that answer, and then it goes from, like I said, I don't understand to, well, it's your fault. It's your fault you don't have the systems. He literally outright just started coming after me, demanding that it's my fault, that it, that we need to honor it. It's like, first of all, dude, you don't work here. You don't know how policy works. Second of all, it's my fault? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. I guess he, he, he outed me. I, I'm, I'm caught. I started the coronavirus. I'm I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. Apparently, I started the coronavirus in China. I uh, I'm the one that stopped manufacturing of uh, PlayStations and other consoles in China. I, it's all my fault, ladies and gentlemen. And I take responsibility. It's my fault. Yep. By by this man's standards, I'm the one that started the virus. He can go fuck himself. That he, no. Just because you're not getting what you want. That doesn't give it. That doesn't give it. Give you the right to just say it's my fault. It's my coworker's fault. And on top of that, you're a regular. How do you talk to you know? How, how do you come to a store that you shop often and talk to the employees like that? Like if this was his first time coming in, then you know what? Okay, whatever. I I deal with it. He's just some asshole. It's retail. It is what it is. You know, you expect jerk offs to come into your store. It happens. Ready for action. What I don't expect is my regulars to talk to me like that. It's just, it's insulting. It's like, you know, you almost become friends with these people. Right away. And they talk to you with such disrespect. It's like, Ready for action. the fuck, dude? Now, what we ended up doing for him was, and I, begr like, it, I begrudgingly did this. We ended up returning the system as a used one and... He ended up getting, like, I think, like, 350 for the system instead of 400, but he still made most of his money back. Um, and, like, honestly, I, I'm, like, a supervisor, so I technically had the authority Excellent to do that. Choice. And I was sitting there thinking about this. I'm like, could I technically just return it as he used? Like, this baby I, he does have our protection. This isn't the first time we've done this. Like, we could technically do this, and corporate's not going to get mad. I'm like, Excellent I was thinking choice. about it, and I was thinking about just doing that for him. But then, like I said, he had to go ahead and just start coming after me. Like, oh, it's your fault. It's your problem. I don't understand how it's my problem. Now you can go fuck yourself. Now I don't want to help you. I was going to go out of my way and help you and, you know, go to bat. But you know what? Fuck you. Ladies and gentlemen, if and when you go shopping, treat the employees with respect. If you have a problem, don't.
don't make demands, ask questions. I'm sorry to be a pain in the ass, but is there anything that you can do for me to help? Yeah, you know, anything at all helps. Just be respectful. Just ask questions. Make it more like... Talk to the employees as though they were your friends. If you were going to ask a favor of your friend, talk to an employee like that. Because at that point, you're talking to them with respect. You're talking... You're not talking out of turn. You are... You know, you're, you're talking man to man. to person to person. You know, it's more respectful that way. And, you know, just honestly, if you talk to any retail employee like that, I'm sure anyone would honestly appreciate it. Um, any, honestly, I, you know, at my job, we're not necessarily against, uh, so here's the thing, my, my company, the company I work for, we're aware that sometimes to make the customer happy, you gotta be willing to bend the rules just a little bit. We're allowed to bend them, but we're not allowed to fully break. So it's like, if a customer has something that they want to return, it's three days over the return policy, we're not, the company's not gonna shit the bed. They're gonna let it go, even if they're regular. Especially if it's a regular, they'll let it go. They're not, I'm not gonna get mad for doing an extended return, you know? But, if I were then, but then like, if I were to do something like, this guy returned something from, fuck, almost like, two years ago when I did the return like an idiot, you got, you got or it. I returned something new where I shouldn't have, and yeah, I'm gonna get in trouble for that. I'm definitely gonna get in trouble for that. Um... But again, it's a matter of slightly bending the rules to make the customer happy, which is fine, and I'm happy to do that if the customer is at least respectful. You know, I had a woman who typically, when we do protection, when we return protection plans, we can only offer it as store credit. We can't just give you a refund. Nothing brings joy to my typically. heart like watching a pirate um, blow up. This woman isn't a regular, but she was very nice about it. She was polite. She was like. I told her, I'm like, listen, I can offer you store credit for the, you know, protection. I really can't do a full refund. And she was like, seriously, I don't even come here that mu that often. It's only once in a while for my kids. They don't even like play video games that much. I love doing that. So I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry. That's just how it is. She kind of gave me this look like, uh, but she was like, all right, it is what it is. Like she wasn't happy, but she also wasn't blaming me like it was all my fault. You know what I mean? So she was just like, is my command. this is what it is. Honestly, after I saw her act like that, and she just, like, let it go, I was like, you know what, fuck it, here, I'll just give you the money back, it's only five bucks, like, whatever, here. No one's gonna get mad at me for five bucks. And she just, her answer was like, oh, oh, okay, thank you. And that's it. That's, you're more likely to get something out of an employee if you're friendly, if you're polite. It, it just, what I'm saying is, guys, be fucking friendly. A smile goes a long way, trust me, especially when you're working retail, and... All you deal with is Karen and really angry dads who don't understand return policies. Oh, what is this? Some pet units don't function without power units. Let's just get that just in case. Um, let's get our fire rate up. All right. Like I said, a smile goes a long way, and simply being friendly goes even further. Um. I had a guy to give you an idea of what I'm talking about when it comes down to bullshit versus legit, you know, niceness. So I had one guy who I had dealt with myself. Uh, I worked with a guy, and at first he seemed like a friendly guy. What the fuck is this mechanic? What the fuck are you? I guess. I don't know what the fuck this thing does. Oh wait, nope. But it seemed friendly, and he was looking for a power cable for his Xbox. So I showed him a cable. I'm like, this isn't necessarily for Xbox, but it's just for play it's for PlayStation. It might do what you need. If you want to give it a try, go for it. I can't make any promises. And he was like, oh, yeah, okay, no worries. I'll give it a try. Can I return it? I'm like, yeah, 30 days with the receipt. Sure. So he comes in on a morning shift that I'm working. And... Aye, aye, my captain. You know, I asked, and this was like a few, I think it was like a week or two ahead, but I know it was under 30 days. I know it was done. And I asked him, and I'm like, D I'm like, do you have a uh, receipt? And he's like, no, no, just fucking hurry it up. I, I, I need to return. I'm like, whoa, like, this guy's all of a sudden gave me a fucking attitude. And he just goes on a rant, like how it's bullshit that he needs a, re a receipt, that he was here, that he doesn't need the receipt. And I'm like, 
I'm saying the thing about this from me, like, you know, dude, if he gave me, like, I even looked, I'm like, you know, if he had given me, like, 30 seconds, I would have just said that I'll do it anyway because I helped you and I saw you buy it here, so you didn't need to be an ass about it. So he goes, oh. Oh, well, then hurry it up. Like, you're giving, like, I gave the guy an opportunity to be polite. Like, I'm not even asking for an apology. Just, oh, shit, okay, well, thank you. Then just, that would have been fine. He had to go that extra mile just to be a dick. You know what I mean? And it's like, why? Like, what, what did you gain from being an asshole? Pleasure, what did sir. you gain from talking down to me? And uh, honestly, the way he was talking, I was literally a step away from saying, you know what? Here's your product. Get the fuck out of my store. You're not getting a return. Like, and by law, I actually do have the right to do that. If you come into my store and you give me enough trouble or if I feel uncomfortable enough, yeah, I can tell you to go fuck yourself and get out of my store. That is absolutely within my legal right. Um, can the customer complain to corporate? Yes. Will they do anything about it? Probably not. They'll probably go, oh, sorry, here's a coupon. Have a nice day. Like, they're probably not going to do anything. Because, again, I have that right to defend myself. I have that right to tell you to piss off if you're being a dick. It's simple as that. Um... Yeah, and then I had another guy. Now, due to the virus, unfortunately, we've had a number of issues with online orders. Whether it be items aren't getting there soon enough, other stores or warehouses are screwing up. It's been a hassle. On top of that, trying to get in touch with corporate to correct these issues. You're more likely to get struck by a light. Okay? Twice. In the same room. In the same area. That's if that gives you an idea of how difficult working with corporate is at the moment. Right? So, it's my pleasure to serve. this guy calls up, and I can already hear it in his voice. I can already hear him. He's frustrated. He's already in this mood like he's expecting me to tell him that he's got to go for corporate. Like, he's expecting me to give him some kind of BS. Like, I can hear it in his voice. Though he's not immediately giving me an attitude. It's more of a, hey, I'm pissed, but I'm looking for help. You know what I mean? Like, he's already a little unnerved, but he's at a state where it can be worked with. So he goes, I bought these three games. I honestly don't want them. One of them did not come with the disc. The other two I have physically, but just... No, no, it's not that he didn't want them. They weren't working. But he said that he had looked at our website, saw what, what we were selling, and he wanted a different game and was hoping that he could exchange it. But like I said, the way his tone was, you could already tell he was a little annoyed. And I was like... Your wish I was like, how long ago did you get the package? He's like, a week ago? I'm like, all right. And what game did you want? So I look it up, and I'm like, all right, well... All right, yeah, dude, no worries. If you want to swap out those two other games, that's no worry. That's easy go. That's an easy job. I really can't say much about the game that's missing. If you want to talk to my boss, wait till he comes in. You could talk to him, and he'll help you out. He can maybe help you out with something. Typically, for something like that, I tell you I have to call corporate because, again, it's missing product. How do I prove that it's actually missing, you know? But as for the other two games, if you want, I'll hold them to the side for you. He goes, well, I'm not going to be able to pick them up today. And, like His tone went from, I'm pissed, and I'm expecting something, to... Oh my god, dude, I wasn't expecting to go this far. Uh, I, what, what can I do? Like, his tone went from pissed to grateful. Like, like, you could tell he was like, oh, well, I'm getting something out of this shit. Like, thank you. Like, you could see he was turning like that. And I was like, dude, listen. These are pre-owned games that have been sitting in my drawer for how long. Nobody's looking for them. If you want me to hold until Friday, I'll hold until Friday for you. And, again, he went from ready to fight if need be to grateful. You know, he thanked me. He was like, thank you for your help. And it, you know, it, you know, I'm just happy that I'm able to talk to somebody about this. That I'm able to get some kind of resolution to my problem. I'm like, dude, no worries. Like, Nothing brings joy to my heart I, like watching in, the, in the long run of it, I appreciate kindness. If you are polite to me, you know, it, when you come to my store and you have a problem, and you're polite to me as a retail employee, I'm a happy camper. I will, you know, I will do as much as I can for you. I'll go out of my way for you. If you are polite to me. That's all I ask. Hey, I have this problem. What can you do? Well, these are your options. And sometimes, I'll just be flat out honest with them. Like, listen, dude. Like, you're going to go through a hassle ordering this through us. Best Buy, down the street. Just just go buy it from them. They've definitely got it. Like, just... And they, they look at me like I'm nuts. Like, you're giving business to other companies. It's like, look. My belief is this. I believe in honest business. I would rather lose a few bucks now. Be honest with you. And you know that when you come in, I'm not going to lie to you. You know that when you come for help, 
I'm definitely going to help you to the best of my ability. I'm not going to lie to you. You're not getting any kind of BS. You know? When you Google awesome, in the end you of the day, it, of that will ultimately generate more business because more people know you're trustworthy. Does that mean you're guaranteed a sale every time they come in? No. But you're trustworthy. And they know you're somebody they can talk to when they have a problem. That brings them into the store. By constantly hounding them for numbers and hounding them for shit in general, you're going to lose business. So, I mean, honestly, I love people's money, but I'm not going to lie to them. Um, but in the end of the day, kindness goes a very long way. You know, and it just, like I said, it... Oh, yeah, fuck these guys. Listen. Yada, 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 yada. Um, it just bothers me that a regular would talk to someone like that. And it's like, if you're talking to me like that, how are you in other stores? How do you treat other retail employees? You know, you talk down to me like I'm not a, I'm not a human being. You talk to me like, like I'm not a person. So how are you talking to other retail employees when you're not getting your way? You go to McDonald's, they ran out of cheeseburgers, you're gonna stomp your feet, kick, you know, fall on the ground and start kicking your feet and everything like a friggin' toddler? Like, it's bullshit. It's not fair, especially to people who work in my line of work, who work in retail. But anyway, guys, that's what I'm gonna leave it for for today. Uh, I know I went on a rant. Um, pretty much, this is Space Run. It's really not that hard of a game. It's just simply strategy. Just pay attention to what's coming at you, build up your turrets, so forth. Um, and as always, guys, like I said, just be nice to other people, especially now with the coronavirus. Just, for the love of God, kindness goes a, a long way. Think about those around you. Um, as always, if you like it, leave a like. If you dislike it, dislike it. Uh, planning on live streaming every Friday, if possible. I believe next week I'm going to be able to live stream again. Uh, what's, what's the hell is next week? Yeah, so... Friday the 31st of July, I'm planning on doing another live stream. Um, gonna be for Death Stranding again. I, I want to play through Death Stranding for you guys. I might jump around, depending on how I see with, you know, people joining the live stream and whatnot. If I'm getting, if I'm getting people showing up and if I'm not really getting anyone, I might play something different, but we'll, we'll see. One, one step at a time again, I'm learning, I'm learning how to live stream. I'm figuring things out. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Hit that bell icon to stay up to date and follow me on Twitter to stay up to date. See you around in the next one. Thank you and have a good night.